So let's, let us consider the following example. So we have a, maybe a three node cluster of safeguard, A, B, C, and each of the nodes is mainly connected to a different subnet of your IT environment. Maybe node A is, con is connected to subnet number one, node B is connected to subnet number two, and node C is connected to subnet number three. Pretty easy, it's a common layout. So if you then are taking into consideration defining something like a password cha check and change schedule or other things, you may want to dedicate a specific node to carry out that function specifically to your network. And this is something you can exactly configure using this managed network feature. So you have a couple of configuration settings in the safeguard settings page that allow you to assign a specific node to a, to a network and this network then becomes the managed network in Safeguard. So if you try to set this up in the Safeguard management interface, you simply have to go, go to the settings page and then to the manage settings uh, sub menu and then you can start to configure your networks. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have that many nodes and networks in my environment, so we just show you the interface of the management GUI and then you see what you can do with it. This is the safeguard settings page. If you want to start to handle managed networks, you simply have to select a managed network menu choice here related to the cluster entry. This really makes sense because you have to have multiple nodes and if you want to run multiple nodes in a safeguard environment, you're operating as a cluster. So if you select manage networks, by default safeguard will present you a the default managed network that comes from the configuration of the interface IP addresses you have in your cluster interfaces. In my demo environment, I only have a default network that is predefined. And if you want to create something, just click on plus and fill in the appropriate information in the managed network dialog box. So give it a name, maybe subnet A, whatever description you want to choose. And you can select the node that is required to manage that subnet. Remember, you want to have managed networks to do some load sharing or load distribution. So you can designate a node to be responsible for a certain subnet. And of course, you can have multiples of, of subnets related to that. And you can have one, two, four, whatever number of nodes assigned to that network to be responsible for management. In this case, may make it very easy for this example. The subnet here I want to enter is with the 24-bit subnet mask and I assign it to my first node and you see here the safeguard name in this case it's the safeguard serial number but this may change depending on the name you gave to the appliance I have left it here on default so it's just the serial number okay subnet A and then now you can configure whatever subnet B Just give it to give it to note this one and whatever subnet 3 and of course, as I have said, you can have a lot, lots of more combinations available. Subnet D, and maybe it's managed by node A and C. That's it. Very easy, straightforward. And then, depending on the IP addresses of the systems which subnet they belong to, the assigned nodes will take care for carrying out the tasks that are assigned to them. And some nice feature we have just missed is the following. If you create a managed network, maybe have it subnet D to be in line. You can assign the subnet, this one. And of course you can assign second or as many subnets as you want in addition to this one in the same way. And you can then assign maybe one or two or three nodes of them. Sorry, silly me, it's subnet D. I have already given that subnet D to something in my list. Okay, so now I can this one. And now you have subnet A, B, C, D, and E managed in various ways. And if you want to see how they really are configured, just simply double click on them and you're going to see a nicely list, layout list uh, that shows managed by subnets and so on. And you see all these nodes with, with their respective uh, IP addresses.